we're in Singapore. The cases uh, surpassed 10, the 10,000 mark and a 12th death has been reported. We have more updates from John Lord Cruz. Hello, John. Hi, Alma. Hi, John. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Still <Okay>. at home. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, here's the update. Uh, despite the initial success in city-states response to pandemic, rising cases among migrant workers seen as blind spot. Uh, as I reported yesterday, Alma, two weeks into Singapore's lockdown, the city-states coronavirus cases continue to rise. This prompted the government to extend its order limiting movement among residents until June 1. Prime Minister Li Shenlong announced the extension of the order for people to stay at home. Singapore reported 1,111 new cases, most of them among migrants who work in low-wage jobs and usually live in crowded, airless dormitories on the, skirts, on the outskirts of the city. At least 1,100 1,016 rather, more cases were reported on Wednesday, bringing the total to 10,141. The number of deaths, however, have been kept low at 11. Singapore adopted a cal calibrated approach in response to the pandemic, imposing new restrictions from quarantining incoming travelers to requiring social distancing in public places and banning non-residents from the country. With the help of the police, a team also track and trace the contact of people diagnosed with COVID-19. But the government failed to pay enough attention to the country's migrant laborers. Just before the circuit breaker came into force, the Singapore government said it was fighting the virus at home on two separate fronts, one for the general population and one for migrant workers in dormitories who were told they could no longer leave their accommodation once the lockdown started. Alma? All right. Thank you very much, John Lord, for that update. We'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is John Lord Cruz reporting live from Singapore. We live in interesting times.